Today I'm going to go over a technique that uses both Adobe Illustrator as well as Adobe Photoshop. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and open up both of those programs and open up some kind of photo that has a background to it, sort of like a portrait shot. I just have this one from iStock Photo. And what we're going to do is create a patterned background and then mask out part of the pattern so the model there pops through. All right. So go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator and first we're going to create the pattern. Click and hold onto the rectangle tool and it'll pull out this little submenu. And go ahead and click on the ellipse tool. Now, two ways to create an ellipse here, a perfect circle. Uh, hold down shift and click and drag like that. Or you can just click and let go and you can type in some kind of size as long as they're both the same and you can see what kind of size it can create. Um, I'm going to just click and drag and hold shift so it's a perfect circle. Something like about 50 points, 51 points, something like that. Alright, now first thing we're going to do is hold down Alt if you're using a PC or Option if you're holding on Mac and uh, if you're using a Mac and click and drag to the right hand side and if hold down shift at the same time and that'll maintain either a 90 degree or 45 degree angle uh, but we're going to just want this 90 degree angle so we're going to drag it over basically we're duplicating it at 90 degrees just so it's touching the edge of the other one All right, don't deselect that one just keep that one selected and just press control D or command D on the Mac control D on the PC and just press that a couple times what it's doing is duplicating um, the selected shape. All right, so we have quite a few shapes there. Once you have uh, shapes, uh, I would say about depending on your photo, but you can experiment with how many you need. But if you want to do about that many, uh, you think I don't know, 25, 30, 40, whatever you think uh, looks good that fills up the screen. And by the way, I have when you went to File New, I have uh, landscape orientation so when you go to file new you can do la landscape you can do portrait orientation if you have a portrait photo um, but doesn't really matter too much as long as you create the shape of the uh, overall proportion of the shapes uh, to match that specific photo and I'll show you what I mean so once you have this line here it's horizontal with uh, the selection tool, just click and drag around all of them. And then we're going to hold down Alt, click and drag, and hold Shift vertically. All right. And we're going to press Control D, and that creates this pattern here we have. All right. I'm going to press Control minus to zoom out a little bit. And I think that's probably enough there. All right. So go ahead and click and drag around all of it there. Go to Edit Copy. Then go to your Photoshop file. I'm going to zoom out so you can see it here. And press Edit Paste. And we can just paste it as pixels. That's fine. It'll paste it on a new layer. And I'm going to click and drag this over here. It looks like you want to drag it. Hold down Shift to maintain the correct proportion. But click and drag the corner of it until it fills the whole frame there. Because if I did something like that, we'd have that bottom area. So I'll fill the frame and then press enter and that will place those pixels there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is double click your background layer to make it a regular layer that we can drag on top of the other layers. Press OK. And then click and drag that above. So now we what we have is that shape layer. Well it's not really a shape layer, it's pixels, but it's uh you know it had the content are shapes, and then that's below the photo layer. Alright. Now, all you have to do in the Layers Palette, if you don't see this Layers Palette, just go to Window Layers. All you have to do is hold down Alt if you're using PC or Option on the Mac, and hover your mouse in between these two layers. It turns into that little icon. Then just click. That will create a clipping mask here. Now, what you want to do, you know, that kind of has a cool effect. Uh, we can add a white background if you want first. Just click New layer, drag it below the others, 
and if you have white as your background layer if you don't go ahead and click it and set it as white and you can just press control backspace on the PC or command delete on the Mac and that will fill it with white now that's an okay look however let's uh, have the model kind of pop out here from the background and in order to do that all you have to do is select this pattern make sure you're on that uh, layer and make sure your foreground color is set to black and we can actually click and mask out a little bit more of that pattern alright I have a soft edge brush you can click up here make sure you have a soft edge brush for that corner unless you want a more uh, defined edge there um, if you do you'd want to choose one of these regardless you can press the left and right bracket while you're brushing while you have it selected uh, in order to resize the brush on the go so left and right bracket on the keyboard so I'm just going to go along the edge here and then right bracket make it a little bit larger mask out all this area and then make it a little bit smaller alright so you kind of have a harder edge there if you want to make it more subtle again you can use a soft edge brush but I think that looks okay get a little side there alright so there you go um, just a simple technique of uh, using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop together uh, just creating patterns and pasting them over and then cr making a uh, layer clipping mask and then masking out uh, part of it so that the individual pops through uh, from the more abstract background. Thank you.